New here at six o'clock. It is a trend that many restaurants and businesses have been watching. The prices are rising on some goods. They're hard to come by. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, inflation has risen at its highest rate in 30 years. WHS 11's Grace McKenna is telling us how supply chain problems are impacting one Louisville nonprofit and how they are finding help to keep feeding those in need. Nationwide supply chain issues are leading to shortages. Especially around animal protein, we have seen a huge um, cut. For organizations you know, we really appreciate this stuff. that serve Louisville's houseless community. Donations like these make a huge difference at Feed Louisville, but they also take in prepared foods, and that helps cut down on food costs that are steadily rising. We can save money that way, and we're saving on labor and time. Aramark at UofL donates leftover prepared food from their kitchens. If we can provide this, this food, then it takes away the need for them to spend on raw ingredients. Even though they are seeing increased prices and shortages themselves. We're having to create models that are very, we're pivoting very quickly. Um, and learning to work a little more efficiently. As a company, Aramark has a mission to give. As a person, what about me? Because there are a hundred other me's. Chef Sarah Turney pours into a pond. I am not the stereotype for what you would expect when you when you see a houseless person. That for her wasn't always full. If I have an excess resource and I take that excess resource and I put it into the pot, the pot then becomes more full and what someone else needs, they can then reach into the pot and take. Now, in spite of their own challenges, Feed and Aramark are partnering again. We've just been amazed at the, um, the difference it's made for us already. Sleeping bag. On a winter goods drive, continuing to give back. We all can take and fill that pot in our own way. To anyone who needs help. That winter drive is lasting through the winter months. You still have plenty of time to donate. In Louisville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side.